This podcast is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. Yeah, just a, it was a gritty win by our team. You know, we, uh, you know, we get up three, we get within, you know, one out of getting out of a jam, and man, they got a big hit by Hines on a on a slider that. You know, didn't slide as much as normal. Uh, give him credit. He did a great job keeping that ball fair. And, uh, you know, we just hanging in there. Hit a home run inning or two later and took the lead and, you know, gave it right back to him. And in, in the eighth, you know, holding to two that inning was big because I, I think, I don't know, they scored two runs and maybe got one hit somewhere in there. I think that might be right. But, uh, you know, our pitching has been so good all year. You know, we we've talked about this, that this was going to happen and that we we'd have to step up offensively. And I thought we did a really good job tonight offensively. Um, you know, Stephen just kept throwing strikes and mixing it up. And, you know, he, he, he's he got that carry fastball. And if, if he's got someone behind the plate that's going to give you that high pitch, he can be a lot of trouble. And, uh, you know, it's just uh, just a good good win for our team on a, on a night that honestly we didn't we didn't play our best so uh, proud of our guys dave white's been hitting well for you the last several games but he's also shown some pop you know a couple of home runs the last three games just what, what have you seen from him what's maybe led to that power surge you know we we talked about it at in lexington that his batting you know friday or thursday batting practice was the best i'd seen him hit the ball in a long time and bat speed seemed to be up a little bit and you know he made a comment that uh you know, I said something about you're getting it going, you're getting hot. And he said, that's what, kind of what it's all about, getting it, getting it going at the end of the year. It's better than the beginning. And, hey, whatever it takes, whatever mindset you got to have. And uh, But he's been swinging the bat really, really good, obviously. And what did you make of Hagen's start today? Yeah, obviously, again, uh, he's so good that it, it wasn't it wasn't one of his better ones. You know, he gets two strikes on the first hitter, and he ends up walking him. Then he walks the next batter, and you're thinking, wow. He's going to throw a lot of pitches, not going to be in the game very long. Um, I think he threw 30 pitches in the first inning and didn't, they didn't score on him. And like Hagan seems to be able to do, his stuff is so good. He went through the middle of that order and, and, and got us back in the dugout. But, you know, he also threw 30 pitches. You know, the second inning, he threw six. And then we're, we're like, okay, we're back on track. Probably going to get six, maybe seven out of him. We only got five. Just didn't have the command um, that he normally does. And, you know, it, it it is it's it, we've kind of been waiting for it honestly because he's been so good and so consistent uh, you know maybe he's got that behind him and he can move on now but you know it, he's been better obviously and he's he is a lot better than that but it was just that night and Mississippi State did a good job of fouling off some pitches and getting his count up was there any thoughts maybe try to put him out there in the six or was it pretty much easy decision well I think what was he at like 95 pitches yeah, I mean, we could have probably sent him back out. I guess if he was just peppering the zone and you're thinking, you know, he can get a couple outs and, you know, be at 105, 108. But we just thought, you know, we have we have bigger plans down the road, so let's just uh, let's just get him out of there. Gage tonight, uh, a lot of conversation around him this week. And yep. then you plugged into that high leverage generation. Just what do you see from him? I mean, the kind of seeing him come through there. Well, what I saw was somebody that just went out there and competed and just seemed to, like, enjoy being out there in that type of situation. When I gave him the ball. I said, hey, bases loaded, no, no outs, have fun. I walked off. And I just tried to loosen him up a little bit. And, uh, you know, he just threw that high, high spin carry fastball and got a pop-up and, I don't know, strike out and then another pop-up. And uh, he didn't even throw a breaking ball. He threw a couple change-ups. But uh, – Really proud of him, just uh, going in there and kind of taking, taking the bull by the horn, so to speak. He just said, "Okay, I'm gonna, I'm the guy, I'm gonna get it done," and he did. He the, the three singles, you know, pretty much the same spot every one. Uh, good to see him kind of hurt a team without the home run and extra base hits, and be able to get that. Yeah, it was big. You know, he's really been staying through the middle of the field during all of our our, our batting practice, and you know, like today, the wind was blowing out pretty hard. Uh, you know, when we were swinging at about, you know, four thirty, five o'clock, whatever it was. And we had a lot of balls out of the park. And Babe has got more power than most of the guys on the team. He didn't ball out. 
He had a bunch of balls through the middle. He might have hit a cup. Maybe he hit one to dead center, but every, no pulls. Everything was through the middle other way. And uh, I think his approach and the way he took, you know, mentally he handled his batting practice. He took it to the game, and it really paid off for us. Coach, again, Gabe Gackle comes in, runners on base, and then strikes out, you know, their two guys and Hines and Jordan. What did you think of that inning? I mean, he was – he was, that was pretty good now. I mean, you, we we kind of look at each other and Doug are going, you know, this kid still is a freshman. Uh, I don't look at him like that anymore. I, I look at him as just one of our best pitchers. And, uh, you know, he, he, he gave us a chance to stay in the game by – you know, getting through that inning, uh, you know, there in the in the eighth, he just, I guess he just kind of lost his command a little bit. He he had some really close pitches and he didn't get any of them. And I'm not saying they were strikes, but they were really close. And, uh, you know, sometimes you just, you got to have a break here and there. But I thought he was great there in the seventh. Maybe the sixth as well. And uh, on a, that catch by Peyton Holt, God, what, which in what it was, but uh, it was kind of like he was kind of like turning, uh, and it was kind of a desperation move. Uh, just what you thought thought of that catch and how uh, catch was just showed just a really athletic player. Um, the ball was absolutely smoked, and it I think it fooled him. He took a bad route to the ball, kind of up and uh, and over a little bit, and that ball kind of started slicing back, and it was. You know, that would have been more of a drop step and, and run run at the alley a little bit, but it was hit so hard and low. Those are hard to judge off the bat. And, uh, you know, he just – he made a last-second adjustment and threw his glove up there and caught it. And that would have been a – that would have been a tough one because that would have been a leadoff double. And instead, we had, we got him out there. It was a great play. Jared Sprague a lot went three for four, and he had – you know, he put together some timely hitting, too, with the – with the uh, home run and the base hit to eventually that got him to, to score on the wild pitch and then another base hit that he uh, to score the game leading runs. Uh, just what do you think of his performance today? Uh, he's outstanding. I mean, those were clutch. The home run was clutch, gave us the lead after we let it slip. And then, you know, that that hit there in the, in the bottom of the eighth, you know, all of a sudden we got something rolling. We got first and second and one out and, you know, a lawyer up and uh, – it just uh, it set us up there, but he uh, tough out, really, really swinging the bat well. Before the season, when we talked to you about Sprague lot, he was going to be this defensive whiz, and, and he's turned out to be one of your better offensive per yep. performers. Has, has it surprised you at all what he's done offensively? A little bit because, you know, in the fall and what he did in the past, and we had the video of it, he would hit the ball. He was pull, pull, pull. And uh, at the beginning of the year, you're still pulling a lot. But his batting practice is the same. I mean, he didn't come close to hitting that ball out of the park today. Everything's through the right side, through the middle, right side. And then in the game, you know, it, it might turn a little bit, but at least it's between the lines. And uh, he, I think you could probably look back a month, month and a half. Teams were – they were shifting way over on him now. They're keeping that second baseman over there because those flow charts are starting to show that, that he's hitting balls over there. And uh, – I just think he's a really good hitter. He's very coachable and has done a tremendous job of working to get better. And Gage, I think through 12 pitches for you, is he a guy that you might be able to bring back later this weekend? Or? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he'll he'll be good to go. You know, he he works off adrenaline a little bit anyway. Once he calms down tonight, um, I think he'll be good to roll. Dave, did, it seemed to you like the pitchers were discarding a lot of balls tonight. That they were starting with a ball. That they were discarding a lot of balls, throwing them back yeah, over to the dugout. Were, I don't know if the balls weren't – they didn't feel like they were rubbed up enough and they were slick. Uh, the other team's pitchers tossed a few out as well. So, uh, we'll look into that. You know, we had it happen on the road a couple of times. It's – you know, the, I think the umpires prove them. I'm not saying they, they rub them up all the time. They get, they get some help. But, uh, you know, maybe they were a little slick, I think. What is that process to rub them up beforehand? Yeah, we, you know, you have managers that – brand new balls and you, you know you just they start it and i think they get passed down the line to make sure they're they're okay so that'd be my guess kind of uh that rally in the eighth you know peyton holt singles to lead off the inning just how important was that to get something started right away well it was it was like super big honestly i mean i don't know how to word it he, he did it with two strikes i think he was down two strikes then it went one two Something like that, and uh, you know, laid off a pitch, and 
you know, he got a, he got a slider and it was away from me. He almost went out and hit it with one hand. If you really look back at the video, he got, he got extended there and just hooked it. Um, you know, Stovall, they busted him in a couple of times and, uh, you know, got to give the pitcher credit. He really located to his gloves, glove side. And then when Jared singled right, you know, it, it was like, wow, here we go. We got a shot here. And then, uh, uh, I think he did it with maybe one strike on him, and Aloy got his single with maybe two strikes again. Um, I mean, that was huge. So some really, really good uh, at-bats with two strikes on, on him. And, and just walk us through Holt moving up to that leadoff spot, the thinking behind that. Yeah, you know, uh, we decided to go with some right-handed hitters tonight. Um, you know, Kendall was trying to give him a little bit more time to heal. I mean, he's feeling good. He came to me and wanted to play today, and I just said, hey, you're going to come off the bench today. Uh, the right-hander, you know, if you look at the numbers, righties were hitting 100 points higher than lefties were. And, uh, you know, originally I was thinking about putting Kendall up top and move Peyton to the three-hole and have Jared in the two-hole. But when they, uh, you know, when we decided to go right like this, then just thought, I just wanted to get Peyton out of the uh, – Stovall out of the out of the leadoff spot. And uh, – you know, it wasn't looking too good there until about the eighth inning. And then, you know, Holt got that big hit. We think about it. I think Stovall let off at least two or three innings. I think two for sure. So, uh, but, you know, it, the game, the innings, they, you're going to get that opportunity to hit lead off or drive in run sometime during the game usually if you're at the top. So, it worked out. I mean, they're interchangeable, honestly. We don't have like a true, true leadoff guy that's going to take pitches and bunt and slap it around and bother you and steal bases. Um, we have just more hitters, I guess, you know, guys that are going to hit. So, but I was really proud of, proud of our offense tonight. I thought they did a tremendous job against some really good pitching. Bet Online is your number one source for all your betting needs. Get the latest odds, lines, and matchup reports for baseball, boxing, golf, and more. Bet Online continues to be the fastest and easiest way to place your wagers, including live betting and your favorite casino and card games available to play right from your phone. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and get in on the action. Remember to use our promo code BELIEVE. That's B L E A V. For your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online where the game starts.